My panel today focused on foreign direct investment and we focused particularly on China. In my presentation, I looked at the regulatory framework for investment into China. The first thing I looked at was merger control because when the anti-monopoly law was uh, enacted, there were talks that perhaps it could be used to control foreign investment into China. Now, this was maybe also exacerbated by the blocking of the merger between Coca-Cola and Huiyuan back in 2009. However, 15 years after, we now uh, don't really see any evidence of the use of the merger control laws to, uh, to prevent investment from foreign companies. Um, in fact, recently, companies like Pepsi or uh, Volkswagen have been able to conduct significant purchases of uh, Chinese companies. The second aspect I looked at was um, the uh, obligations that China has assumed in the context of the WTO and also through bilateral agreements. And of course, these depend on the agreement, uh, the, the specific agreement and the obligations that agreement implements. And the third aspect is the new uh, Chinese, the very recent Chinese legislation affecting foreign uh, direct investment. And here we see that there is a real attempt to encourage investment from abroad. And uh, the new law has made it easier, at least in theory, to uh, invest. There, is, uh, there are a few sectors that are still excluded. Uh, the list is shrinking. Um, but we also see actually uh, that some sectors encourage um, investment from abroad um, and we have uh, a whole mechanism set in place um, to uh, scrutinize this investment um, and overall despite um, some you know the need for transparency and consistency um, we see that actually now the new framework should facilitate um, foreign direct investment into China.